yeah, my hand is definitely shaking now. This one is really, really not going to feel good. Wow, the mandibles are impressive. Okay, we gotta go soon here just in case I lose my hold. I'm Coyote Peterson and I'm about to be stung by a very large European hornet. Here we go. One, two, three. Wow, 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 wow. Ah. Ah. Oh, man. I actually knew it wasn't as bad as I thought. Ah, nope, that's much worse right there. Ow. Ah. Oh, man. That is hot. It's got me there. Ow! Ow! Oh! Yeah! Okay, got me there. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, got me good that time. Woo! Oh, yeah, no, I can feel that one. There you go. You can see where it made good contact there. But believe it or not, this sting of the European hornet, not nearly as painful as the bald faced hornet. Let's see what the reaction ultimately ends up being. You know what they say, size doesn't always matter. And it was feeling around with its stinger, wasn't quite getting purchase. But there you go, you can see the sting zone and a bunch of little tiny welts forming. Huh. It burns, but honestly, not much worse than the paper wasp did. Actually, look at that. Look at all of those little bumps that are forming. I gotta say guys, the European Hornet, at this point, really not that painful at all. I mean, it hurt when the stinger went in, but I'm not experiencing the burning that came from the bald-faced Hornet or even the paper wasps. But I think the true test, hold on a second, something more is happening. Definitely feeling a bit more of a burning sensation in my wrist. I think we need to apply some Sting Kill. All right, I'm going for my favorite here. Let's put some Sting Kill Serum on there, just to even out the experiment. Immediate cooling effect. No pain. Feels great. Not even really swallowing that much. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this grand finale.